Hey everyone, welcome back to the lands of Bentley. And since last episode, I've been pretty busy. Check it out. We have three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Now that doesn't quite necessarily mean I'm going to fight the Wither today. <laughs> I think that's going to be based upon whether we get a quest to do that or not. So we'll see uh, based on our uh, random quest we get today. Now, last episode, uh, we worked on our map room here, and I love the way it turned out. I think it's amazing. I love the fact that we have our giant map here, and we're smack dab right there in the center. There we are, right underneath our river that uh, flows right into our ravine. And I think there was one of these stairs that were misplaced by the end of last episode, so... I saw that and I went ahead and actually flipped all of them around. I actually like the way this looks a little bit better than the way I had it, which um, was the opposite of what it is now. They were basically, um, I guess, the top part of the stair, or the bottom, that's actually the bottom, I guess, <laughs> uh, was on the uh, top part of that block, which is the uh, bottom part of the piston right there. So um, I actually like the way that looks a little bit better myself. Yeah, there we go. So, I've also went ahead and made up quite a few book and quills and copied and pasted a bunch of random quests made by all of you from when we was building our quest room here over the span of those two episodes. So I went over back to those um, episodes, uh, which just kind of went through the comments, randomly picked um, about a good chest full over here. I'll show you guys. This is all of the quests that I've uh, written down so far. And... Uh, <laughs> Quite a few of you guys want me to battle the Wither, so uh, there were quite a few Wither requests, and I've grabbed a couple. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if I'll be able to do that today. We'll see. Um, if I just so happen to get a, like two Wither requests, I probably won't be able to accomplish both of those back-to-back -back like that, because it does take me a long time to get those uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls. And I don't know, did I show you guys... I made this, the Wither Killer, <laughs> I like the name of it, um, Smite 4 and Looting 3, um, practically one shot's a Wither if you crit it, like that, and I don't know whether or not Looting 3 actually helps or not, um, I've seen people saying it does help, and some say that it doesn't, um, I actually checked and did some research, and I didn't really see any, like, like proof or anything that said that it did or didn't help. I, at least I didn't see anything that said that. So uh, there might be something out there that proves that it helps or not. I just, I really don't know. Um, I also did a little bit of research, found out we cannot actually get the uh, zombie heads, the creeper heads, or the skeleton heads in survival mode. That those can only be obtained in creative mode. So that's a little unfortunate. So we'll just have to decorate this room with maybe some other type of block. Maybe uh, we use like blocks of gold up on our shelves up here. Uh, you know, we got diamond as well. So maybe we can just put this one like right there. You know, decorate it with like actual uh, blocks. So there we could just put like a diamond door, diamond block. Um, I don't know. You guys get the idea. We'll just decorate it with, like, blocks instead. I think that'd be kind of cool. But let's go ahead and stop delaying. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a quest, and let's get started. And we might be able to get to a couple quests, depending on what they are. Um, if you guys take a look at the name of these books, I've actually kind of uh, gave them a vague description of what the quest actually is. So it's like, um, we have gather quests, we have building quests, um, battle quests... And I think there's a, yeah, there's a travel quest. So I don't know what these are. I'm just going to go ahead and make this as random as I can and just randomly click these into my inventory. And we're going to go ahead and load this up. So I'm going to randomly click these in here as well. These are going to siphon their way through the item hoppers back to the droppers back here. As you can see, there they are. And I guess one's already made its way into there. All right. And then I think all we got to do is just click that. And there we go. So we have a travel quest. All right. Let's see what this travel quest is. All right. So we need to find a village and take someone back with back home or with you back home. Slay the rest of the village. You can also make a villager if you can't find a village uh, from Azul88. All right. Quest accepted then. <laughs> 
Let's see if we can uh, go find ourselves a village now. I haven't seen one yet. And which way have I traveled? So, I know I've traveled up this way quite a bit up north. Uh, spawn was off that way. I know I've traveled down south quite a bit because we uh, went down there to find ourselves uh, some horses. And I think we found Rex down off in that direction based upon this map. I really haven't done any exploration off that way. And I haven't really done much off that way past spawn. So I might actually head up uh, that way a little bit. So we'll do a little bit there. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing... Because uh, getting a villager back might prove to be a little difficult. Is probably get some mine carts, mine tracks. I think that'd probably be the best way. And try to send him through into the nether and hook up uh, gates that way. So hopefully we can find a nice village close by. But keeping an eye out around my base, I've been seeing a increase of friendly activity lately <laughs> and by that I mean enemy activity all right let's see where and there's a zombie pigman all right so I'm gonna go ahead and grab what is it it's like 10 pieces I'm gonna go ahead and just grab 24 pieces of obsidian for now and I guess we already have a splash potion of fire resistance that I made up for when I took Rex around the base and we built our quest room. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Let's see, is there anything else I would actually need? I guess not. Oh, actually, yeah, there is. If we're going to go through the nether, I'm going to need a flint and steel. Could have swore I had one. I really don't have one made. Up oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> it was hiding from me. All right, mine carts. We're gonna go ahead and bring us some rail as well. Powered rail. Um, do I really want to bring all of it? Yeah, why not? Might need it. And we'll bring some redstone torches to power those. All right. Oh, we're on a quest. Now, I think what I'm going to do is we're also probably going to grab a horse. I've uh, done a little bit of breeding um, just because it seems like they still die sometimes when you log in. I've noticed that uh, they kind of like get trapped in a wall and start suffocating. I, I don't really know of any good way of to fix that except to maybe like line this place with fences or some sort of transparent block so they don't suffocate. So, I don't know. I'm still going to have to do some work in here and figure that out. Um, but, we got this guy. Now, Clips, I think I have um, traveling us from here to the uh, stronghold. So, Eclipse is over there in the uh, small stall behind the... Oops. It's raining and it's dark out. Let's go ahead and try to fix that real quick. Here we go. That, there's this weird, I don't know. <laughs> Snapshots are weird sometimes. All right, I need a name for you maybe. We'll see. Oh, Fred, trying to get out of the rain, I see. Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. Thank you. Whoa, hey, Frank, how you doing? Didn't expect to see you so close. All right, so yeah, I've actually been growing some uh, some spruce trees, the two by two spruce trees. They're really nice. I like it. Get a lot of wood from those. All right, well let's go ahead and start our travel, shall we? Got all of our acacia wood out here as well. Oh, you guys like chilling underneath these trees, don't you? So I think we'll go ahead and do some traveling out this way. Spawn is off that way. Hopefully I don't get lost. <laughs> that would be a little unfortunate. But spawn is out this way. We're going to kind of travel out this way, I think. And see what we can find. All right, let's go ahead and cross here. I need a good name for this horse. What do you look like? You're just kind of a, a gray horse, huh? Hmm. 
Maybe we'll call you Greymane. <laughs> I think that's, um, what? Is that, that's an Elder Scrolls, um, reference, right? Pretty sure. I haven't played it in such a long time. Alright, come on, let's get through here. Come on. I know, I don't need to be hitting that with my sword, but... It's just trying to get through this. Come on, jump, buddy. I don't like forests. Especially on horses. It's a little bit of a... Oh, nope, don't you go that way. That's not good. Alright, ow, ow. Stop, trees! Stop, trees! It hurts. I don't know why your leaves and branches are hurting me so much. Ow, ow. Great. We just had to go through a birch forest. Nice. Alright. What is that? Something I don't want to fall into. I need to get out of this forest. Ow, ow. Alright. This way, no. This way. Uh, uh, no! Oh. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I don't want to fall in holes. It's not a good thing. Alright, let's get on top of the trees then. Oh, wow. This forest goes on. We got a plains over there. Maybe we'll head over that way. Oh, jump! No! Great mate! Ow, what are you doing? You're killing me! Oh, man. Let's just get out of this forest. You can make this. You can make this! Okay, maybe. Okay, that's fine. Phew! Alright. At least we're out of that darn forest. Alright, I think spawn is actually right over here. In fact, yes, yeah, spawn is right there. There's spawn. Alright, I kind of want to do a little exploration off this way, maybe off that way a little bit. I hear you guys down there. But can I cross this anywhere? I think we can cross, like, right in here. Alright, I gotta jump this. Can you make this gray main? No, no, you can't. Come on, get over there. There you go. You know what, we're already on this side. Maybe we'll just go off this way a little bit. Kinda hop, skip, and jump through the water. Come on, Grey Mane, I, I have faith in you. You can do this. Muster all of your strength. We're gonna get through this little pond here. There we go. All right, now, get out of the way, sheepies. We just need to find ourselves a village. Actually, should have wrote down the um, the coordinates to the base. That way, I could have accurately um, set up a nether portal between the two. No village in sight yet. I, yeah, I haven't actually found a village yet, which is a little unfortunate. We do need to find one, or at least it would be nice to find one. All right, now this way. It looks like we have a swamp. Fortunately, no village. Oh, wow. World's generating in, which is why it's getting a little jittery here and there. As you can see, we got the new uh, ore generator, or actually stone generation here. Um, what is that? I think that's granite. I think that's granite, and I think this is andesite. Diorite, sorry. Diorite, and then that's granite. Alright, well, I think what I'm probably going to wind up doing, because this might take a while. Wow. Yeah, I'm not healing. I need food. I might wind up just going off in this direction a little bit. And uh, hopefully we'll see if we can run into maybe a village soon. Of some sort. I don't know. Because that way it looks like we have another swamp. I don't think that's going to help us. Plus, I don't like going through this forest. And the real challenge here is going to be trying to get the uh, villager back to base. Plus, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> that frame rate dropping a lot just because of origin or um, the world generation. I'm sorry. I keep wanting to say ore generation. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep traveling off in this direction just a little ways. If I don't find anything too soon interesting, then uh, I might go ahead and head back. That way I don't get too lost. So 
Hopefully we'll see you guys back in just a moment. And there we go. We got ourselves a village. It wasn't too far away. Had to travel through a uh, savanna. And then we hit this desert here, luckily. And we found a village. So I'm going to go ahead. Oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> There's a screenshot for me later. Um, checking out our F3. We can see our coordinates. Um, XYZ is, uh, well, I believe X would be negative 1,400 around that area. And then the Z would be around negative 330, so, um, you know, we're not too far away, just took a little ways to get here because of, uh, another birch forest, so, <laughs> unfortunately, a little zigzagging around and such, but we managed to find that, and this looks pretty cool. Now, this debug, um, menu, I believe that's what it's called, um, actually looks really, really cool, it looks like they've changed a few things on it, so it kind of, uh, tells you which direction you're facing, so we're facing west, we came from the east, um, we're in a desert biome, light level, it tells you the light level there, local difficulty, which is three, which I believe is hard, and we're on day 276, <laughs> which doesn't really seem like it. it's probably just me sleeping all the time, sleeping my life away. So here we go, we got a kind of a decent looking village, we got a blacksmith we're going to look through really quick, and a blacksmith himself, hello friend, you, I did not bring a lead. Um, okay, actually, got a better idea. You, come here, get in there. Actually, I don't even think you can get out of that anyway, so... I don't think you can go up that, so... Alright, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Have some fun, Grey Mane. Alright, let's see what we got. Apples, gold, piece of bread. Eh, kind of meh. Now, hopefully, we can find ourselves some potatoes. I did manage to get one from killing Fred earlier when we left, which was really nice. I haven't actually got potatoes yet, but, um... Actually, doesn't be looking to have much luck for that yet. Oh, wait a minute. These guys are... You guys are harvesting. Hey, wait a minute. I want those potatoes. Give me that. No. No, I want potatoes. Here, I'll give them back, but I want a few. Thank you. These guys are sitting here actually harvesting these things. That's cool. I think that's a part of the um, the uh, snapshot here. And go grab some of this bread. These guys cooked up for me. Well, maybe not for me, but I kind of um, took it graciously. I think they uh, wouldn't mind offering it. Hello, sir. Librarian. Oh, wow. It actually already offers two trades. That's interesting. So a book with an emerald gives me a enchanted book. Is that what you want? 34 pieces of paper will give me an emerald? Eh, not too bad, I guess. What about you? 18 coal for an emerald. That's not too bad. And then... I'm breaking two efficiency two. Eh. Farmer? <gasps> Whoa! Rotten Fledge for emeralds? They do that now? That's... Oh, look at that. Nine gold for an emerald. Huh. Well, you fellas... Unfortunately... Mr. Azul... Wants me to kill you all. Like a Viking. <laughs> I don't really see myself as a Viking, but... Sharpness 5. 64 emeralds in a book. These fellas have some pretty cool new trades. 12 leather for an emerald. 2 emeralds for leather pants. Yeah, not so great. Pork chops for emeralds. Chicken for emeralds. So we got butcher there. It's another butcher here, right? Yeah, I think we just saw him. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Rotten flesh for... Gives you a reason to save your rotten flesh now. Rotten flesh for emeralds. That's awesome. Now, fellas, I apologize, but I... I'm going to take your books. Because I actually use these for my quests. Plus, I don't think you guys really have much use for them. So, unfortunately, we need to lure one of these fellas back to... our base, our underground lair... Like I said, the only way I think I'm going to probably be able to do that 
Hey, fella, get off that. I just saved your life. Which one of these do I want? <laughs> Which one of you wants to come back with me? Any takers? I guess I'm gonna have to just kind of figure that out myself. String for emeralds. That wouldn't be too bad if I had a um, spider spawner. I don't think I've found one of those yet. Hey, what about you? You're a farmer. Having a farmer might be kind of cool because then he could harvest my crops. But I don't think he would put them anywhere. I don't know if he has like an inventory or if he like does anything with the wheat or anything at all. It's kind of interesting. Alright, well, I need to pick one of you guys to bring back. Maybe one of you. Maybe not you, though. <laughs> what are those? Are those priests? You? Hello? Librarian. So, paper. Maybe I should bring a librarian back with me. Or should I bring a cleric? That way I can get emeralds. Because I can get... I have a ton of... Rotten flesh. I could get a lot of emeralds. You know, I think I might do that. All right, fella, you're gonna be coming back with me. I just need to figure out exactly where my base is. So I'm gonna have to get the coordinates for that. Um, I didn't write those down. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe. Hmm. Let me trap you. There we go. You are officially trapped, my friend. So you're gonna stay there. I'm gonna go find the coordinates to my base and we're gonna build ourselves a nether portal right here in the middle of this village. Oops, not well I guess that'll work too. <laughs> Why not? That'll work. Right, and we'll go ahead and put sand on this because it's desert. Why not? You're not supposed to be in there. Sorry. Azul instructed me to kill all of you. On sight. As a Viking. Except for you. You're the chosen one. Alright. <laughs> Actually. And if you're the chosen one. We ought to just call you Neo. Alright. We're going to go through. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Alright. Hello. Let's see if I maybe. Kind of recognize where I'm at. Nether Fortress. Nether Fortress. Actually... Is this... Uh oh No, sir. Stop that! You're gonna die. No, no! Why'd you switch? It did. Actually, you know what? I think... Maybe? No. I don't think this is... Actually, this is my nether fortress. That's my nether fortress right there. That's my cobblestone right there. I know it's really, really hard to see, but that is my cobblestone right there. Okay, this is awesome. So I know exactly where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and actually signify this with sand. Make it like a little sand pillar right here. Because this is going to tell me... Ooh, wither skeleton down there. I'm going to go kill him. Make a sand pillar right there. I'm going to put a torch on top. It's going to tell me that, hey, this nether portal right here leads to a desert. A desert village. Which uh, we might wind up going back to later on. So I'll just do that real quick. Now, I do want to make my way down here because there is a wither skeleton down there. I want to kill him real quick. How am I going to get down there? Ooh. This is a long fall. Whoa! Ow. Okay. Hey, feather falling. Thank you. I don't know if that's going to... You know what? YOLO. Ah! That's, that's fine. We're good. We're perfectly all right. That didn't hurt at all. All right, you can get out of the way. I want your friend here. Come here, buddy. Get one shot. Any luck? No luck. All right. Well, we tried. I'm going to go ahead and have me a delicious... Ooh, another one. Delicious apple. Come here, buddy. Give me your skull. No luck. All right. Well, I tried. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make my way back over here. 
I think I might even try to figure out how I'm gonna transfer him over. I need to make a large minecart track from there over to my portal. So that's going to be a little bit of a uh, time-consuming process. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, start working on that. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to get him transferred over. Because it, it is going to take me a while to bore through and slowly make a little platform like this all the way over. Um, don't know if I'm going to do it out of netherrack. So I'm going to probably make my way back. Deposit some of these items. Because um, I don't want to lose the potatoes either. Grab me some cobblestone. Hopefully that'll be a little bit more resilient um, to explosions from ghasts. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. And as soon as I get that taken care of, we'll be right back. Don't worry, I'll be fine from this. Oh, wait, hold on a second. More weather skeletons. I'm going to kill these guys. Two hits if I don't crit them. Ooh, nothing from you. Oh, no. Ow. Okay, yep. I'm just going to go ahead and make my way back. See you guys in a minute. So, after a bit of guessing, <laughs> a couple stacks of cobblestone, about six stacks of track, I've managed to connect the two portals up. Now it's time to go get Neo and bring him back, and slaughter the rest of the village, and complete our quest. Alright, hopefully we can actually get him through the portal safely. Alright, let's give it a try. It'd be nice to have some company around base. Hey, Neo, how you doing, buddy? Oh, good, it's morning, too. Even better. All right, you're going to have to stay there for a minute. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he just ran. He he knew I was coming. <laughs> he ran through the portal. <laughs> he was quick. All right, you know what? You fellas aren't going to need these anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and add these. I'll come back and uh, take the rest later. All right, sorry, fellas. It's your time to die. Just following orders. Don't mind me. Anyone else over here? You? No. How about over here? You in there? No. Clear. That one's clear. Oh, hey guys. How you doing? How's the weather? Sorry about that. You're, uh... Yep. You should have never came out of your house. I hate to do this to you guys. It's my town now. The chosen one is the only one to be saved. <laughs> Anyone in there? Nope. Alright, I think... I think the village is cleared. Alright. We're good. And there is Greymane. I'll come back for him a little bit. He's safe here for now. And we're just going to go ahead and pull this out. So um, you can also make a village if you can't find a village. We found a village, so we had to follow the quest. So we're done. I think we've managed to slaughter everyone, except for the chosen one. Time to bring him back. All right. Are you ready, buddy? Here we go. All right, so you go there. In fact, let's go ahead and put the cart down. Go ahead and get in the cart, buddy. Neo, get in the cart. Get in the cart. There we go. Oops, sorry. Ooh, ow. That probably didn't feel too good. Um, yeah. All right, you and you. Then I should be able to just do this. Yeah, there we go. All right, get up there. Get. All right. Why aren't you going through? Wait a minute. Why aren't you going through? Can you not go through on a minecart? Oh, no! That was a complete accident. Well, that one villager that just went through earlier into the nether looks like, um... Might have to be the chosen one. Hey, you even got in the cart for us! What are your trades, anyway? Leather for emeralds? Alright, you're gonna have to do, buddy. <laughs> that was a complete and utter accident. I did not mean to do that. 
All right, well, at least we still have a chance to complete this quest. You will be officially renamed Neo as well, though. Sorry. <laughs> That's just the way it's got to be. All right, so powered rail. I'm going to try to keep up with you. Hopefully, we don't have any problems. And by problems, I mean ghasts. Pigman, you should probably go right by him. No, I guess not. Here, let me um take care of this guy for you. Yeah, you just keep coming this way. In fact, I'm going to jump over you real quick. And we're going to push you back. Come on. There we go. I probably should have put a powered rail in here. <laughs> Let me not pull the sword out. Let's just use sand for now. Wow, you're actually maintaining your pace pretty well there, bud. Come on. Trust me, you're going to be excited to be back in my base. You're going to love it there. I promise. It's really cool. I love it there. I even got a name tag. Just got to put your name on it. That's all. All right, this should be a little difficult. He should have some momentum to get back through. I guess they can't travel through portals on minecarts? Yeah, look at that. Look at that speed. Ooh, better be careful here. All right, and he should be there. Yeah, nice. All right, so I'm going to play this a little bit easier. There we go. Ah, nice. There we go. So I guess they can't travel through on minecarts. I was unaware of this. There you go, bud. All right, I think you cannot go back through yet, so nice. Awesome. <laughs> Quest completed. We got you back to base. And unfortunately, you weren't the guy I wanted, but, you know, leather for emerald isn't too bad. And what I'm going to go ahead and do... We're going to put you in there because I want you... Hey, get out of here. No one invited you. Ooh, sword, come back here. Um, don't want you uh, wandering around like that. And I need to find a spot for you. I don't really know where I want to put you just yet. Um, you know what? Yeah, there's a good spot for you right there. We'll put you in this little room right in here until I figure out where I'm actually going to... You know what? That's fine. We'll just do that. There we go. Yeah, we'll just put you in there for now. Come on, buddy. Come on, Neo. You're the chosen one. Well, um, technically you aren't, but you are. Uh-oh. There we go. And just so I remember, I'm just going to leave that block open. Of course, I'll probably wind up hearing him anyway. And let's go ahead and replace this and this. Alright, he's good. Let's go get ourselves a name tag really quick. We'll give him a name. I think I got some extras in here from fishing. Yeah, there we go. And unfortunately, my anvil's down in my trophy hall, so I'm going to have to make my way down there. Hopefully we have enough hunger. Come on. Let's do this. We're just going to name him Neo the One. Hmm, hold on a second. I'm gonna try this. See how this looks. No, that looks a little too corny. We'll just call him Neo. Wait, what? Ah! I renamed the book! I didn't mean to rename the book. I meant to rename... Ugh, silly me. Uh, let's try that one more time. There we go. <laughs> rename the book, Neo. Well, I guess we could rename, yeah, the quest Neo, because that's... I guess. <laughs> the whole purpose of the quest. Alright. Come here, bud. There you go. You are now named Neo. Oh, um. Okay. Why can't I rename you? Stop that. Trying to shift click. <laughs> okay, hold on a minute. I don't like this. You close. Um, back up for me a little bit, will you? Yeah, the distance. Why can't I rename you? Shift right click's not working. Here, take it. Take your name. I'm gonna have to figure this out, guys. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. Or even if I can. 
I thought you could rename villagers. All right, well, I'm going to work on this, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our little questing expedition. And hopefully next episode I'll be able to uh, get him named. If not, um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Uh, let's see. I'm also going to have to find a place to put completed quests. If you guys have any ideas for that, please also let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And Zool, thank you for the quest. Much appreciated and quest completed. Until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.